Hey, hi everyone. This is admin from admin 365. And in this video, we'll specifically talk about how to create Teams meeting from Microsoft Teams application. So let's get started. We will launch the Teams application here. This is my Teams application. And this is the chat. This is the Teams channel and the other teams here. And this is the calendar. We have to click on the calendar tab, which is on the left. If you don't see it here on your left, you can check the three dots and see if you can find the calendar in here. If you have a mailbox, you should see a calendar there. Once on this calendar, you simply have to click on this new meeting option on the top right. You do have other quick options here as well. It will then open this window which will have all the information required to set up a new meeting and you can give it a title you will have to add here the participant of the meeting to which you want to invite so you can either add internal user or external user so i will type few internal members and uh, any example which i can do here for a random external address i'm just trying to mimic a external address for any participant you add, you will have to make sure that you click on the drop down suggestion so that it populates it in this manner and not just show you the email address. And if you wish to add optional participant, you can add them here as well. They will be listed as optional on the meeting invite which will be triggered. And on the bottom here, just below that, uh, you can see the date on which date you wish to set up this meeting for you can choose it from the calendar I can do it for 25th and then you can set up the time and the end date so uh, if you want the meeting to end on the same date you can mention that here and then you can select the time as well so it starts from 1.30 and ends at 2 that means it is a 30 minute meeting which you can see here as well if you wish to make it all day you can select that and it will make it an all day meeting and will remove the time option so we'll not do that we'll turn it off and we'll just verify the date and the time and the duration and once that is done you can choose whether you want to repeat whether you want to make it a daily meeting weekly meeting or monthly meeting you can do that so as well by choosing the options available and if you wish to add a team channel so that all the other team channel member get notified you can do that as well by selecting it from the suggestion you can see you will have a different suggestion depending on your membership of that team you can add a location if you want if you select online meeting it is referred to as teams meeting which is automatically checked when you create a meeting from Teams application. If you create a meeting from Outlook application, you will have to manually select the Teams option or make sure that the online meeting option is turned on. If you want to add details about the meeting, you can do that here as well. Add a note if you want, you can do that here as well. On this page itself, you have the option on the right which will show you the option which would be available for the teams meeting you can set it up according to your preference you can choose from all these options you can check the security who can bypass the lobby you can select the options from here so anyone who joins the meeting would be directly admitted to the meeting and will not wait into the lobby you can select the other options and for the changes which you cannot see or are grayed out for you 
it is most likely that it is controlled on the admin level you can ask the admin if you wish to modify certain settings which are grayed out for you and you can see all the options here available you can do the modification as well if you want to record you can do that here as well so these are the options available in meeting option and this is specific to the meeting which you are creating and not for all the meetings and you can hit save once you have made any change to the meeting options so once you have filled all the information here made some modification you simply have to send the meeting by clicking on the top right send button and uh, if you wish to check the availability of the users who you are inviting to the meeting if they are internal you can add the attendee here before and uh, check the availability if they are available you can you know schedule it accordingly and once you are done with that uh, you can simply go back and click on send to send the meeting invite in the form of email to them we will hit send and there you go in my microsoft teams calendar i can see the meeting invite already uh, you can see the same in your outlook as well because the calendar used for teams and outlook are both same which is associated with your account and if you double click on it you should see all the details which you have if you want to make any change in the date or time you can do that as well it will uh, give you an option to send update once you made any change and it will automatically update the recipient's calendar and also will send them a email informing about the change as well and i will not send any updates so i will simply close it and discard it so this is how you can create a meeting in microsoft teams application on your computer the options available on teams online is similar to what we just saw so you can try from there as well uh, do let me know if you have any question you can drop it in the comment section